Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Boom Beach. And if you've been living in a hole for this time, we now have the March 2016 update that has been sort of thrown around, rumoured, and here we go. So, what's in the update? Well, I there's quite a few things, but most of them are retextures, I'd say. There's like the statue storage buildings, there's quite a few things. I mean, I, the, many other people have done other things than I have. Here we go, statue storage. It does exist. I'm not of an HQ up level to do it, so probably look at saying, you know, Ben Tim, Boot Tramp, or Nick at Night. Look at look at one of those guys if you want to see more of the higher level retextures. But I've already noticed my mortars here have certainly got a new level. Uh, looking here, level nine looks a bit better still. There's like a new sort. Of, oh, there's a new ranking system. It seems with depending on your victory point level, and to be honest, now I def this is this next thing here I'm about to show you has confirmed my suspicion. This whole you get supply chests every five victory points you get, that basically says you need to attack to get extra loot, and that basically reinforces my conspiracy back way way long ago that they want you to raise your victory points to get yourself into a bit of a situation where you can't progress and you're getting raided at all, so you basically have to spend money to progress. Uh, it just confirms my suspicion. Anyway, this is my base. It's no different to what it was before. I've had a defense uh, to show you, and uh, yes, things have been upgrading, by the way, if you're wondering. So, level 9 machine guns. I've got these with the level 5, and these are level 8. Uh, I'm, for once, going to be upgrading my landing craft to get enough... enough bleh, experience to upgrade to the next HQ, but oh look another tree to screw. Um but anyway let's uh let's get into this. I will actually be raising victory points just a little bit to uh to show you what this supply chest gives you. But firstly we have an NPC to take down and this is a very important NPC because look where he is, he's in the ice biome. So let's just get to all tanks over here please. That's going to be a lot of rockets. If we get like right to the back end of here, that is so many rockets. Normally rockets aren't a problem with tanks, but uh, this is rather a lot of them. So right at the back, none of these tanks should be able to realistically hit each other. This one might be able to get a couple shots, I don't know. In the meantime, let's just uh, I don't know, throw that there. Let's just, 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 just destroy a few things. They'll work on the stuff up there. You, you, well, oh, you. So all, all the mortars seem to have a brand new texture, which is quite nice. Nice to see something uh, a little different. Where, well, I don't know, it's just... Barrage on a machine gun is completely overkill, but oh well. Take down the HQ. Let's, let's just get this over with. I want to see what one of these supply chests offers. It's probably just going to be like loot or stuff. Just generic resources, I'm guessing. And please give me a damn shard, crystal, something. You didn't give me anything. What a freaking cheapskate. And that's kind of typical because I also have a second Power Stone Chance idol that I have acquired, which is 10%. So yes, like I said, if you want more in-depth detail into the update, it's not going to be me since I'm not really spending money on the update per se and I'm not of a sufficient high enough HQ level and everything uh, to get, you know, to show you how much of the new content. But we have one more victory point to do. We're going to attack this dude down here. Sorry, dude. <laughs> the level eight. He's level 18. This, this is just, to be honest, kind of sad. <laughs> but anyway, let's... um. Let's just take this dude down. I'm when I get to 100, 150 victory points. By the way, um, that's the point where I'm going to say no more victory. I'm going to be a lot more strict with my victory points when I get to 150. Uh, for various reasons, I do not want to get too high, and I've been for the last sort of 50 odd victory points. I've been very, very sort of. I uh, you could almost say slacking with my diligence to keep my victory points you know low and everything so take that down let's just uh... let's just deal with uh... that I'm not sure that's gonna take down the... no it won't take down the sawmill but this guy's gonna taste my pain get this done we'll show you that defense after this as well after we've seen what uh... 
what is actually in those uh, loot crates. Let's just throw that there. Let's, uh, I don't know, there. There's nothing you can do to me, sir, I'm afraid. You are just dead. Let's just double med kit. Double med kit and uh, flare onto the HQ. Get this guy down. Plus, I want to see if I actually get any uh, r crystals or whatnot from him. He's a volcano base. Okay. So, down he goes. What are you going to give me, sir? Just one of those. Okay. Just a fragment. So, let's see. Supply chest. Great demands will promote higher. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Claim. Ooh. Now. This could be a double-edged sword. This looks good, but at the same time, it's going to be... So, But one thing I realised, by the way, I'll just give this a word of advice. If you have an NPC spawn on your map and you lose a victory point, it doesn't actually matter uh, to, the, to the victory point progress. So you can let NPCs respawn and you know, attack them. You get, say, three victory points... Rinse and repeat. You don't lose victory points. Let me claim that. You you don't lose victory points, you know, in that progress bar when say an NPC respawns or you get raided or something like that. Just giving you guys a heads up, uh, at least with that. But it look to me, those supply chests look exactly like the daily victory point reward thing that you get down here, the little boat. Speaking of boats, uh, no, the boats don't have any uh, symbols anymore. That's kind of bugged. Oh, I'm actually full on stone. What a surprise! Um, but they don't have any icons above them for some reason. It's a bit glitched. The iron mine does, but uh, the wood wood doesn't, and I don't think stone does. Or maybe it does. I don't know. So there's a couple little bugs there, which this, they're probably going to be fixing soon. I'd have thought. And this and this this guy right here is one of the reasons why when I get to 150 victory points I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful you know with victory points because this is a very offensive guy but he's been playing passive which is interesting not offensive in victory points but offensive in terms of well look at his yeah you know, look at his level he's level 37 and everything else um, this is a mortar this is a level 11 mortar if you're wondering what it looks like that looks pretty cool if I don't say so myself most uh, most buildings don't have too much of a retech. I mean, the the really high level buildings do, but practically every mortar has had a retexture. At least all like all upgrade stages of a mortar have had a change. I mean, look at this. Even a level one mortar here has like this sort of like wooden planks. The edges of the mortar are quite defined. If that makes any sense. Um, so it looks pretty cool, nonetheless. So, but if you want the full list of changes, like I said, I'm probably not the best person to look for, but I'll give you my opinion of what I think of it. And also, I have a new submarine spot, which, uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to go for the wood. Wood or diamonds. 17 hours from now. Um, let me think, so that's going to be 12, 13, what do you No. <clears throat> no, we're going to do the cheaper one. 12 hours, so that'll be ready for me tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Right. Let's go on to the defense and just see where this guy went wrong. This guy had higher level troops than me. Being a level 25 versus level 26, okay. Similar level, sure. And higher level troops, okay. To be honest, actually not saying too much because uh, I don't upgrade my troops terribly often, but let's go in and show you what he did. We have one machine gun upgraded at the time. Slightly bad play on his part, but this is two tanks and heavy Zooka. Interesting combo, my friend. Now he tries to push to the back end of my base, like they always seem to. But let's just say his flares were not on to par, because look what's happening right now. We have the outer snipers and the outer mortar. They just go to town on his troops. His heavies just take a pounding. And look what happens here. Once again, the Zookas get exposed and pop, pop, pop. They all get picked off one by one. So the heavies start tanking the mines, and the tanks, speaking of tanks, down here now, we actually have a cannon, I think, um, taking shots, perhaps not, okay. So a double sniper, seriously, snipers, you have to 
be careful of those with tanks. Look, the double snipers just took down that tank with little issue. We have a cannon here just picking off heavy after heavy. And to... Ooh, these buttons down here are different. Oh, you can pause attacks. That's cool. Um, okay, there you go. Another update. And update thing. And yeah, he lost everything except one tank. So there you go. That was how not to realistically attack me. And I doubt I'll see him again. Uh, just probably taking a guess. I doubt I will see him again. Usually if pe if people just don't get... If they get only one or two defences deep into your base. And then they retreat or, you know, they lose. They generally don't come back for a second attempt. But if they get within one defence of your HQ. Or if they're on your HQ... But you might have had like a sniper or a cannon or a mortar or just like maybe one or two defenses that just counter sniped and you still won. But basically if they got counter sniped, you might see them again. They'll probably come back for a second try because they obviously got close. But he didn't get close. Speaking of ice, uh, just thinking of defense, we now have a new 6% damage bonus idle thingy. Which... Uh, is looking good, plus 61 and a half damage on the cannons, uh, plus 3.11 damage per shot on the machine guns, on the snipers, plus 13.16, uh, flamethrowers, we got 7.3, mortars, we got plus 12 and a half, and then there we go. Definitely looking forward to the next HQ upgrade because I really want to do a base with that boom cannon because, like I said in a previous video, HQ-12 is going to be quite an interesting base to design because you won't be able to um, get a true corner base yet. Oh yeah, also trees shake when you click on them. Uh, you won't be able to get, you know, these trees removed to HQ-13, so you can't have a true corner base. So HQ-12 will be the last base in this style here. The sort of shove up by the dock position. It'll be the last of its kind before I will probably move to corner bases again. We will see though. This this base design certainly holds its own. At least uh, with, the, with, the, with the limited number of attacks that I've, I've had. But there you go. So anyway, these look certainly quite interesting. So I'm assuming the loot is definitely based off of your victory points. And I would guess your ranking system. I'm apparently a sergeant. Rank 3. Apparently speaking. And it's like Lieutenant, Captain, Major, Colonial, is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. Gen, General, and then Marshal for the ridiculously high up level there. And then it says like Private, Corporal, Sergeant, Lieutenant going up again. So I'm a Sergeant, so there's Corporal and then Private. Oh! Damn, that's cool. I didn't know you can actually look at this. Okay, so there's actually like loot systems. So this is this is this is corporal. Okay, sergeant. So that's where this is. This is these are the loot. This is the loot I'm likely to get. Okay, I'll take the fragments, dude. I will definitely take those fragments, uh, especially since they were ice. Because ice ice is rare. I will attack any player or any NPC on ice, as you have seen. But yes, ice is rare. At least for me at the moment. So there we go. So I'm doing all right. Uh, so going into lieutenant, you got uh, five and six. So each. So okay. It, mostly at the moment, it's still shards and then diamonds and then what, that's what your loot gets. I'm just curious to see how much you get now. So when you go to captain, you don't get crisp, uh, uh, fragments anymore. You get um, shards. Okay. So then it goes up to six diamonds and various amount of loot and then it's just, it's, it's just a steady increase so that's this is major colonial beginning I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be crystal soon general okay that's a good amount of loot uh, no crystals yet so not so even at Marshall you don't get crystals interesting so up to eight shards damn you so you that is you know one and a I suppose one and a tiny bit uh, what is it? Chests, not chests. Uh, guardians. I can't even. I can't even English. So that's certainly interesting. So anyway, I don't want to drone on for too long, but there you go. That was my very brief insight into what the uh, 
what the update has to offer. Quite a bit of interesting stuff, and I definitely can't wait for that statue storage thing to come into play, because that's something that will be v invaluable. Because the times when you might you might be making several of one type of statue, a couple of ice, or a couple of uh, magma or something, you only have one statue spot available, but you want to know which of the statues you're going to put down as the best, you you make one statue, you put it into temporary storage, That's this is the only thing that's a little sad. You can't take your existing statues that you've placed and put them back into storage. That could... Uh, arguably that's a bit OP. I could see that being a bit uh, over the top, but... But anyway... Uh, you could... But, well, I mean, yeah, if you're making those statues, you just shove one in storage, you make another one, compare and contrast, reclaim or deploy, whatever, or just keep it in storage in case you want to change your attitude, you know. Or, you know, if, if I had like a... Uh, actually, speaking of statues, I am getting close to a... very close, actually, to a life masterpiece. If that masterpiece was something I, I would, you know, was good, but I didn't need it right now, then, once again, stick it in storage, and then uh, wait a while, and then put it down when you feel like it. So, that's pretty good, to be honest. And def definitely check out this update if you haven't already. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Enjoy the update. Thanks for watching. And I have no idea when the next video I'll do is. Maybe HQ12. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But, yes. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.